let us now create the animations for our monsters. So in our sprites folder, here we have our enemies or our monsters. And we need to set the sprite mode to multiple because this is a sprite sheet. Uncheck generate mip maps. And for the size, I'm going to leave it at 10 at 20, 48 and true color and hit apply. In our sprite editor, I'm simply going to click on slice and slice it automatically and hit apply. And now the first thing that I'm going to drag is our ghost. So that's from enemies zero up to enemy six, put him here. And this is going to create the animation and its controller. So we are going to place it here. And in our animations folder, I've created monster animations. And here we have ghost, zombie one and two. All of them are folders. And for our ghost, I'm going to select the controller and his animation and put it here in our ghost folder. And if I select the ghost now, and I'm going to rename it to ghost, so rename it to ghost. And if I play the animation, this is what we have. I'm going to go here and select our other enemies. So this is going to be from enemies seven up to enemies 13. So enemy seven up to enemies 13, put it here. This is our zombie one. And I'm going to rename it to zombie one and take his animation and its controller and put it in our zombie one folder. And from 14 up to 20, this is going to be our zombie two and put it here. So it's going to be zombie two and select the animation and its controller and put it in our zombie two folder. So now what we need to do is we need to select all of them, apply a box collider and a rigid body. So rigid body 2D on them. We also need to go here and create a tag monster. So monster and tag all three of them with the tag monster. And now what we need to do for our zombies is we need to resize their colliders a little bit. So we are going to click on this edit collider near this box collider and we're going to resize it to fit here. So like this for the red one or the zombie two and here for the green one or zombie one. And this is what we have here. Our ghost is going to be set a trigger. So here we have set him to be a trigger and also set to freeze the Z rotation for, for all three of them. And in our scripts folder, I have created a monster script folder and here we have the script monster. So here I'm going to select all three of them and add the monster script component. So filter here for the monster script and attach it on them. I'm also going to go in our prefabs folder and create here monster prefabs and we can drag all three of them. So one, two and three. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go here in our scripts folder and open our monster script. So here we have it, monster script and open it. And let me just tag the script here. So tag it and I'm going to give a little bit of space so that we can see what we are typing. And we need two variables. One is going to be a public float speed and I'm going to set here hide in inspector. This is going to make this variable public, but it's going to hide it in the inspector panel. If I remove this or comment it, if I select the zombie, we are going to see here we have this speed variable in the inspector panel. But if I go back and uncomment this hide in inspector, if I select the zombie, now we are not going to see that variable in the inspector panel anymore. We need it to be public because we need to manipulate it, but we don't need it to be visible in the inspector panel. And here I'm going to create a private rigid body 2D, which is going to be my body. And in the awake function, so void awake, I'm going to get a reference to my body. So now I'm on a behavior, my body is equal to get component rigid body 2D as the component that we want to get. And in the update function, I'm simply going to say my body dot velocity is equal to new vector two, and it's going to be speed for the X and zero for the Y. So for starters, I'm going to say speed is equal to three. For example, here in the star function, we are going to remove this a little bit later, but now just to test this out, we are going to set the speed to be equal to three. 
and we are going to start with our ghosts. So I'm going to remove these or set them to be not active in the scene. So our ghost is set to be a trigger and if I run the game he's going to fall down. He is slowly falling down as we see here. Now we don't want that. And also while we are at it I'm going to select all three of them and set their order in layer to be two. And we need to also hit apply so that that applies to their prefab. So I'm going to turn on both of them, hit apply and hit apply. In order for our ghost not to go down so that he's not affected by physics, we can either set the gravity scale at zero or we can simply set here is kinematic. So both of them will work. I'm going to set the gravity scale at zero and hit apply. And if I run the game now, we are going to see our ghost moving forward, but he is not going down. So we have our ghost covered. So our ghost is covered, hit apply, turn him off. Now we have our zombie one. So now what we can do for our zombie one is we set it here. Everything is okay. So if I run the game now, we see our zombie one is moving. So everything is good for our zombie one, the same way is for our zombie two. So let me just open or set him to be active here. And we have both of them here running and we see them animating. So everything is okay and they are good to go. Again, hit apply so that any change applies to their prefabs and we have our monsters set up. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create spawners on each end here that are going to spawn our monsters and we need to create the spawner script that's going to spawn our monsters randomly in order for those monsters to attack the player. If you like what you see, please comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. And you can share this with your friends, tell them that they can learn game development for free, of course, so on and so forth. I'm not going to stall with my end of the video talk. And we are stopping here and I will see you in the next video.